Fisher's Enthusiast, and today I want to do a top 10 ranking of my favorite Kanye West songs. Uh, this list is my opinion, obviously, so you may not agree with it, or you may agree with it. Either way, in the comments below, put down your list, your top 10 favorite songs, or top 5, or top 3, whatever you can come up with. I want to read them and react to them. So, uh, yeah, let's start with number 10. Uh, Soul Jams. It's a classic R&B song with Jamie Foxx and Twista. Twist is really good on the song because of his fast rapping ability. You know, he's one of the fastest rappers, if not the fastest rapper, I believe. Uh, and his ability to match the beat is really nice, too, with with his uh, pace of rapping. Uh, Jamie Foxx lends his voice to the chorus and pays homage to a lot of other R&B uh, legends. And I think it's nice of him to do that. I think it really uh, gives the song more uh, more power. Uh, so number nine is Lost in the World, which is a love letter to Kim Kardashian before they were married, if you didn't know that. Uh, <clears throat> Kanye West and Bon Iver t team up to create a beautiful voice uh, that sings the chorus. The production is top tier and very me memorable. It's, I think, the best way to end the best album he's ever made, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Uh... The, what I just said, production is great, and the chant at the end is very, very memorable and uh, enjoyable. Uh, number eight is Can't Tell Me Nothing. Uh, this song is the epitome of success. This song screams out, you know, rich, popular, successful. That's, that's what Kanye was at this time. He was, he was at the top of his game. So... This is a I don't care song. You know, it's like, I don't care about anything. I don't care about anybody. Uh, all I want is my money and my fame. Because that's how it was then. Number seven is Stronger, which samples Daft Punk's Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger song. Uh, the use of this is amazing. It really shows Kanye West. Because Kanye, you know, Kanye West is great with samples. That's one of his best traits. Which has making music, and he just shows that he can take an electronic song from Daft Punk and make it into a hit with his with his own twist. So I thought that was really nice. I, I, I thought that was great. Uh, the song Kanye West flaunts that he is superior. You know that he can take on the world and always evolve, but this, whole, this wasn't the case. Number six is Heartless. Heartless is the ultimate breakup song. This song came out when Alexis Pfeiffer broke up with Kanye West and Kanye West's mother, Donda West, passed away around the same time. Uh, this was Kanye at his lowest. You know, he's lost the two women he loved. He has nothing left. And he can't understand why someone would break his heart like this. He doesn't understand why this is happening to him. You know, he can't fathom his reality. So that's why Heartless is number six. Number five is Waves, which I think is the best song off of The Life of Pablo. It has Kid Cudi and Chris Brown on fe doing features. Uh, it's the ultimate feel-good song. Uh, it's a million times better than what it really should be. It, it is just outstanding. Uh, it's not the most lyrical Kanye kind of song, but it is one of the most emotional ones. You know, It really brings you up, makes you feel better about yourself and life. That's why it's number five. Number four is Ghost Town, which is the personification of growth and maturity in life. Uh, Kanye West, Kid Cudi, 070 Shake, Your Party Net Store, all on the song. Uh, Kid Cudi's chorus is chilling and haunting, to say the least. Uh, 070 does great with her part, as always. I'm a big fan of 070. I saw her in concert, so I'm biased to her, but she is great. Kanye West shows how he's grown as a person. And how he too understands mistakes that he's made. And that he's going to make mistakes because that's just who he is. He's a human after all. Is the point he's trying to make. So that's number four. Number three is Gorgeous. I did not like Gorgeous when it first came out. I just did not. I uh, thought the voice modulation was stupid. But now I listen to it more often. And it's my ringtone now. <laughs> like the song is, is insane. Uh, Raekwon is on it. Uh, Kid Cudi is on it. They're great on it, as usual. Well, Kid Cudi is, you know, he's great on everything that Kanye West has done with him. You know, best friends and all that. 
But uh, the song, the song, is about success and self-realization while fighting against discrimination and hate. So it's trying to be, you know, the best you can be, but you're fighting the worst that the world has to offer you. And together, you know, how you can rise from that and be a better person, the person that you want to be. So, number two. Number two is Runaway. Big surprise. Uh, it is a trans transcendental experience to listen to. Uh, from start to finish, from start to finish, it starts with the E key, then it turns into a full fledged beat that we all know and love. Uh, Kanye is just at his peak with this song. Pusha T's on it. Pusha T talks about the lavish lifestyle, and he's great as usual as a feature. Uh, and he also talks about talks about the trials and tribulations about the lavish lifestyle, and as always, he's great as a feature for Kanye a Kanye West song. Uh, Kanye West seeks approval in the song, but he knows he'll never get it and he'll never find true love. So, at this time of his life, at least. So he's essentially telling everyone just to leave him and run away. That he's not the man that he knows he can be. And he's not the man that they want him to be. He's just a man with problems. And that's that's what, what run away is really about. The ending is superb. Uh, the the auto-tune at the end... Really makes you emotional, and it's just auto tune. That's crazy how Kanye West can do that, but he does, and it makes me sad every time. It's a beautiful song. It's worth every every second is worth listening to. And that's number two. So number one is All of the Lights, my favorite Kanye West song, and what I think is his best song to date. It has the best production. It has really good lyrics. It has guest features from Rihanna, Charlie Wilson, Kate Cuddy, Fergie, Elton John, and many others I haven't even named. This song is phenomenal. Uh, the trumpets are riveting and very, and the lyrics are very solid and, and authentic. Uh, the song is mesmerizing, mesmerizing and never gets old. Uh, I think this is Kanye's peak production ability. It doesn't do better than this, and that's why this is number one. So that was my list of top ten favorite Kanye West songs. I did a Brockhampton list uh, about a week, week ago recently, and it was received pretty well by from you guys. So I decided to make a Kanye West one. I'm doing all my favorite artists. So we'll see what others we can do in the future. Uh, but like I said, put your list down below. I want to see what you think. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Leave a like. Uh, comment your list, please. And uh, have a nice day.